All right, welcome to Electron Online, and here's an interesting problem for you. Again, we need to find the amplitude, the period, the phase angle, and then finally graph the function. But here you have to be very careful because you may make a mistake here. Quite often people look at this and say, oh, I see what the period factor is, it's two-thirds. So they look over here and say B equals two-thirds, and then they go on and find the period by taking two pi divided by two-thirds, but that's not the case. Make sure, make sure you take a look at this and say this does not look the same as the base form of what the function should look like. You have to factor out the coefficient in front of the x because you want a 1x inside the parentheses. In order to do that, we have to factor out a 2 thirds out of this what's inside these parentheses. So this becomes the following function. y equals 3 times the sine of 2 thirds times x minus, now this is one sixth pi, when you factor out two thirds of that, you get one fourth pi. One fourth pi. And again, if you're not sure, multiply everything back in. So two times one is two, three times four is twelve. Two twelfths is the same as one sixth, you get back what you started with. So you want to make a look in this format first before we get started. Now you can go ahead and find the amplitude. The amplitude hasn't changed, it's still equal to three, but notice the period. The period will be a little bit different. Well, actually, the period is two-thirds, uh, the period factor is two-thirds, and the period will be equal to two pi divided by the period factor, which is two-thirds. So this is equal to two pi uh, multiplied times three over two, and so this will be equal to three pi. So the period is three pi. And say, so, well, I didn't make the mistake when I didn't factor out the, that the answer is yes, you wouldn't have, except that you would have gotten the, the wrong phase angle. In this case, the phase angle is equal to one quarter pi. That means it will have been shifted by one quarter. Since we have a negative there, the shift is to the right. Okay, let's go ahead now and try to graph this. Well, first of all, the amplitude will be three. Normally, the sine would start like this, right? This would be normally a sine function that would start like this, except it's being shifted to the right by one quarter pi. So we have to start over one quarter pi. So this is one quarter pi or pi over four. Sometimes it's just easier to write pi over four. So let's do that. Pi over four. And the, so the sine function will start like this. Now the period is three pi. That means one complete cycle of the function, one complete period of the function will take three pi instead of 2 pi. You notice that this number in front of the x is smaller than 1, that means it will stretch out the function. So instead of going from pi over 4 to uh, 2 pi over 4, uh, 2 pi plus uh, pi over 4, it will now be 3 pi plus pi over 4. And that will now be one complete period of the function. So let's go ahead and graph that like that. And it'll go from plus 3 to minus 3, that will be the amplitude, plus 3 and minus 3. And of course, what is 3 pi plus pi over 4? That will be 13 pi over 4. 13 pi over 4. Yep, that's correct. And so that will be what the function looks like. Of course, you can continue drawing it. Just continue on like this. And the function will go on forever. And the same over here. Let's see, pi over 4. You will not quite get to there. So it'll probably look a little bit more like this. Okay. And that's how you graph a function like that. So first what you do is you find the amplitude, you find your period by taking 2 pi divided by this number, you find your phase angle, and then you see how much it shifts to the right or left, and this case shifts to the right pi over 4. It's a sine function, so start from 0 on up. And notice that the period, one cycle of the function, should equal 3 pi. And that's how we do that.